Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, in honor of Shut the Box Week, I decided to go ahead and play Shut the Box. So if you're interested in seeing how this works out, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie. So again, in case you are new here, my name is Brandy Janae. On this channel, I do budgeting, hauls, and planning content, and the occasional teacher content. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. So I have been told by various amounts of people on the YouTubes that this week is shut the box week, which I believe, don't quote me on this because I'm not sure if you know the answer to this for sure, please leave it in the comments below. But it has been said by a couple people that I watched that reinventing Renee is the actual creator of the game. So again, I don't know that to be fact, <laughs> but that is what I have heard a few times. So it's at least what someone thinks is factual information. Um, but anyway, this is supposed to be Shut the Box Week. And so I decided to go ahead and participate. I did purchase both versions. So she made a Shut the Box Valentine's Day and a Shut the Box, like just the regular edition. So the regular one, I am going to save and like laminate so that I can use it. And I decided since on the day you guys watch this, it'll be Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Sending lots of love and hugs your way. But I decided since today was Valentine's Day that I would play this version. Now, because I would really like to do this whole sheet because this is literally the only thing I'm going to do in this video. I am not going to be saving these giant numbers. So what I'm going to do is whatever is left, that's how many dollars I'm going to save until I run out of money that I have in this bag. And then this money will be allocated to something else at a later time. So let's see what we're working with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four. So I have thirty-four dollars to play with today. I didn't even bother getting out the trash, the trash, the cash tray, since this is again like all I'll be doing. I didn't even worry about getting it. So the way to my understanding that this game is played is you take two die because you have up to number nine. So for this particular one, I would need two dice. You roll them and then you add the number. So six and two would be eight. So I can choose to do any combination of eight as long as it equals eight. So I am just going to do the larger number, although the way I'm playing it, I should have done the six and the two. <laughs> Normally, if you had, let's say you right now got an eight again, you would be done. So then you would add nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one together, and you would save that amount. But again, because I would like to do this whole sheet for today, I'm not gonna do that. So we have a three, a two, and a one. I'm gonna do just the three. Ten. So we will do nine and one. And someone, I don't remember who it was. I almost need to like keep a notepad with me when I'm watching videos because I get so many ideas from people but someone mentioned um keeping the two as long as possible in case you get a snake eyes because that would obviously be the only way to do it so i had 10 i'm gonna do six and four seven 
Mm. Again, I should have scratched five and two. Seven. Ah! I shut the box. Hey, now. This is only like the second time ever that I have shut the box. So, huh? no saving in that row. <laughs> Whoa. My neighbors are neighboring. 11, 9, and 2. I hope you all are doing well. Let me know in the comments if you are participating in Shut the Box this week. Nine, we can do eight and one. Today, like I said that I'm filming this, it's actually Tuesday the 13th. And so I got a three. So today, I don't know, like I just woke up in like a freakishly good mood, which is, you know, awesome, but also rare. <laughs> Uh, because most days I wake up and I'm just like extremely tired. Um, even though like I slept all night, I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, yeah, I'm just tired. So I think it's just like the whole winter time blues. But yeah, today I just woke up freakishly tired. Hold on. Cause I think, uh, I feel like somebody said, once you get to the last one you can decide if you want to roll two or one i don't remember but i'm going to make that decision for myself and i'm gonna just roll one ah! <laughs> whoever played this that's how they did it too i shut the box again <laughs> all right anyway so yeah i woke up in like a freakishly good mood which was awesome um and then i got to work and you know it was cool whatever like it's kindergarten so you know they do their best some of them some of them do their best um but you always have that one or two that just like ah, you know so but at the end of the day you know i'm getting my kids prepared to leave and we go we have to go to another classroom for dismissal so we go out to the other room and like one parent you know picks up her son and they go out to their car and then I see him turn around and come back and I'm like, uh, like what could he possibly have forgotten? So was it nine? So he goes, he comes back, but he has a bag. You guys, he got me the most beautiful flowers for, Oh, done. So he got me the most beautiful flowers. Maybe I'll do, Oh, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. So we are saving that. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're like roses and they're pink and red and white. Um, and so I was just like, oh. And then another kid came and got me. He just, his mom brought like a big, uh, one of those big chocolate hearts. So I'm like, oh, and then, oh, I'm sorry. Rose kid got me this cute little thing isn't that precious so i put it on my desk and then this beautiful like a rose bear i thought it was so pretty so i'm keeping that on my desk as well but um yeah and then like a little heart with some um kit kats in it so anyway spoiled today so that just put me in like a, a really like even better mood than i was in today was also a friend's birthday so i stopped by there to drop off the present that I had gotten them. And then I was like, you know what? I'm feeling extra lovely today. So I decided to take myself out on a date. Six, seven, eight, seven, and one. So I took myself out on a date to one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. And well, it was a date, but I ended up like doing homework while I was there. <laughs> Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go home and film this video. So I came home, did a little house straightening because I've been really slacking on that with being sick and all and decided to film this video. And after I'm done with this, I am going to read, snuggle up, read and get ready for bed. 
So all in all, today was a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope that your day was wonderful as well. Nine. And of course, because it wouldn't be my video if my heater did not start decide it was going to start randomly working. Even though it's 60 degrees, so there's really no need for it. <laughs> Every time I start filming, it decides it wants to do something. All right, we're going to try something different this time. Let's do the two and the four. I want to get an actual, like, dice thing, because this is obviously for this. <laughs> My scratch and save challenge, so it doesn't, like, lay, because the lid is heavy. Seven. Oh, now it's sitting. Okay, so seven... Let's do six and one. But yeah, it was nice. Um, it was nice. It's always like, you know, obviously the kids don't have to do anything. Six, seven, eight. But it's always very welcome when they do, when their parents, you know, show appreciation. I will say that this has been definitely one of the most challenging years that I've had in a very, very long time. And that's primarily because the behavior of the students is just, whew, like I can tell because I've been doing this for like, I mean, technically this is my 18th year in education. I've served in different capacities, but you know, still within the realm of education for the most part. So like, you can see the decline. <laughs> you can see the, the, the decline in um, behavior for sure, but then also in like, you know, their educational experiences. Like when I first started, kids pretty much came in, you know, knowing the basic information, like numbers, color, shapes, blah, blah, blah. But now it's like when they get here, they don't know anything. Like, like I literally have, kids in my room right now that just can't even spell their own name and so it's just really sad because it puts them you know obviously at a deficit like they already come in behind they already come in at a deficit and I'm like you know the fact that there are still <laughs> so many parents in the world that think that they are not responsible for helping their students educationally it's just really sad because although for like the waking parts of the day you know for, during the week students are you know with their teacher probably more than they are at home <laughs> when they're at school they have in my case 17 other people that are, you know, trying to get my attention, trying to get my help, you know, whatever the case is. And so there's only so much attention that I can pay to each child individually. So they don't get the, you know, one-on-one -on -one attention that they may need to be successful. So I'm like, when they're at home, you know, you can kind of devote more one-on-one -on -one attention to the child that's struggling a little bit more so and then at this age more than anything they just need the reinforcement of the skill so even if they learn it in class you know never looking at it again until I bring it up again it just it doesn't help them retain it to memory so you know if you're a parent out there and you have you know a child in like first grade really and under <laughs> please 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 I owe two please 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 work with them on you know just those basic things they should know how to count to 10 they should know colors they should know shapes they should know numbers like all of those things so that by the time they get to kindergarten especially if you opt out of a pre-k program so that by the time they get to kindergarten they are, you know, not behind. Because the reality is, even though most 
pre-K programs now are going to like the play to learn format, uh, learning through play structure. Kindergarten is not. <laughs> Kindergarten is not at all adopting the learn through play format. So, you know, like I said, they come in at a deficit. Because when you get into kindergarten, it's automatic, like, sit down, here's your workbook, turn to page five. Like, <laughs> there's, there's no real warm-ups. <laughs> it just goes straight to no nap times, no play times, do your work. Like, that's pretty much where it goes, at least in the district that I work in. One, two, three, four. So, yeah. Two, three, four. And then I also think it's important for kids to learn, you know, again, like that level of respect and like all of those things are just really lacking now. Like there's no, I don't know. It's hard to see who has the authority <laughs> in the household because even some of the comments I hear from parents, I'm like, which, who's the mom? Like, <laughs> Because the way you're talking about it, it's like, she's running the house right now and she's five. So, like, I'm going to need you to kind of take some charge of the situation and, you know, be a grown up. Wow, I destroyed myself on this one. I got a six. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. See what I'm talking about? Like, if I was playing the real boy, that's what? a lot so here's 10 15 that's 19 dollars just for this row that i would have had to have saved and i don't know about you but i'm a low income budgeter i just told you i was a teacher <laughs> all right we got a six and my pencil is going away i'm at the invest in a pencil sharpener 11 so yeah anyway Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> You're probably like, Brandy, when did we ask you about the educational system? You didn't. That advice is free. I'll charge you for the next one. <laughs> ah, five. All right. This is fun. I like shut the box. Oh, see? I just told y'all you're supposed to leave the two in case you get the snake eyes. Woo, child. One, two, three, four. I just told y'all. See what I'm talking about? I'm hard-headed like the kids. <laughs> and four. Woo, wee. This was an old envelope, too. I had It used to say beauty on it, just in case you noticed the little, like, <laughs> remnants of glue on there. I just took that off and was like, I'm not throwing this envelope away. It's still perfectly fine. Four and one is five. Does anyone have any Valentine's Day plans? I do not at all. I actually will probably be at home starting on my research paper that's due at the end of the month. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't really like... Uh, you know, even if I am in some sort of relationship, I don't really like going out on Valentine's Day just because it's too crowded. It's very peopley outside on Valentine's Day, and I'm not a fan of peopley situations. So I'm more of a let's order in kind of person. <laughs> Three and two. All right. But yeah, I'm more of a go to your restaurant, favorite restaurant, get it to go, and then kind of eat at home. And nine, and we're stuck again. So two more dollars. One, two, and then I will take this and roll it into another challenge. So that is what's left. Let's put this back in my bank bag so that I do not forget. And we are done shut the box all right so we saved one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, seven dollars in shut the box and that's exciting so yeah i'm going to i'm actually going to just put this in my holiday binder since this or my holiday savings uh since this is obviously for the holidays do i have that binder handy i do not so it's in my safe i'll grab it later but yeah i'm just gonna put this in my holiday sinking funds since it is obviously a holiday um but before we go i do want to show you one thing and you will be seeing it again on friday this is my new fun friday savings challenge so and this will be listed in my etsy shop it is not currently listed but i'm working on it right now i do have the digital download available so if you're interested in playing this with me on friday that download is available right now so should you choose to purchase this which i hope that you do i will have very limited quantities though so if you're interested in it definitely like jump on it um but it comes obviously in this clear a6 binder with the rose gold hardware and it does have like a hollow sparkle on it i don't know if you guys can see that very well but then in the binder it comes with this dashboard that says fun friday and this again is all made by me and these are all laminated so you know you can use them repeatedly so on friday i will be playing you know, fun Friday, like I have been doing while well, be doing my fun Friday, like I have been doing, but this time I will only be using this binder instead of using the other savings challenges that I have. So this is the cover. I have my money ready for Friday. Then I have a roll and save. So this is one of those you roll as you, you know, get the number, you just cross it off and that's how much you save, obviously. Then here's another roll and save called wings and fries. So you roll, write the number in the little circle, and then at the end, tell how much you saved. And then don't blow your budget. I thought this was cute because he's like whistling. So you choose how much the fries are worth and then color in the fries as you go. Easy savings. And this is a fry in like a milkshake. <laughs> and so again, you choose the denomination and write, or no, you choose the amount and then write the total when you get to the end. I love this one. This is my favorite. Fries before guys, <laughs> which is like my favorite saying of all time because yes, fries are life. So each guy is worth $5. So again, you would just cross off the guy because again, fries come first. So you would cross off the guy and then put $5 in and it's a total of $70 saved. We go together like fries and ketchup. And they're all twos because it's, you know, a couple. So again, as many as you'd like to save at that time. And then that is it. So I did include two of these just in case you want to have like a front and a back. Or you want to put this one in the front and in the back. But I didn't put that in my binder. But it does come with two. So again, each one of these cards is laminated. You will get the binder the envelopes and the cards not the cash obviously <laughs> um but yeah the binder the envelopes and then the laminated cards and then you can play along with me on friday if you do not want the whole system but you'd still like to play along again i do have the digital download available and when you see this video the digital download is already available so feel free to grab that print it off and then you can play with me on Fridays when I go ahead and do this video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post more videos. And I will catch you all later. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you more. I do. I do. I hope you're well. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet. And I'll catch you in the next one.